What's up guys, Lynn Ray here. Today I wanna to talk about my second financial lesson learned. But first, if you see or hear anything on this video that you think is beneficial for you, beneficial for anyone else, go ahead and like the video and share the video. You can share it on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Blogger, any of those things, any of those platforms, uh, go ahead and share the video for me. Uh, I would greatly appreciate that. And now back to the video. That financial lesson learned is have clear financial goals. I say that because of this. I moved out of my mom's house when I was 17. So 17 is when I kind of went out off my own and, you know, started making a life for myself. And from the age of 17 until just recently, honestly, I'll be honest, you know, just uh, within the last maybe uh, two or so years, two or three years, I made so many financial mistakes, right? I mean, I was just spending money on frivolous things, things that had absolutely no value. I, let's see, I mean, from all the game systems, pretty much from my 17, the age of 17 till 30, uh, or maybe not too much in the, the 30s, but uh, all the game systems, I've owned new vehicles, vehicles that I probably shouldn't have bought I've had speaker systems in, in, in a lot of those vehicles, you know, the big 12 inch woofers with the, you know, the matching Sony, you know, amplifier with the custom made box that goes into my vehicle. I've had shoe collections, right? Shoe collections ranging from 15 to freaking 20 shoes, you know, brand new clothes that I would only wear like maybe twice a year, once or twice a year. <laughs> I mean, I've made so many, <laughs> so many dumb mistakes. And I say that because of this. Had I had a clear financial goal, I, I've always had a financial dream. I've always wanted to be at this point, right? But had I had a clear financial goal, I am pretty sure I would not have made a lot of those mistakes earlier in my life. And that's why I'm making this video, right? And so just kind of give you guys and gals my experience, show you guys what I went through. Uh, that way, you know, if you are on that path, right, if you are doing those same things that I did and sometimes still do, that uh, you'll kind of recognize that and, and, you know, from another person's perspective and, and say, hey, maybe that's not what I should be doing. And I'll tell you this, um, I was, I was reading something the other day, but Americans, like we are living to be in our 80s and 90s. Like we're living a very long time. Now, imagine if you were to take all of that money that you spent on frivolous garbage and invested that money, used it, used it for something that would promote you financially, you know, spiritually, whatever the case may be. Imagine if you took all of that money and used it in another vehicle, a more beneficial vehicle for your life. And imagine how that would affect you later on in your life. Now, this isn't a knock on anybody. <laughs> it's, it's not, I promise, I, I swear. Uh, I went to Walmart just the other day and there was a greeter at, at Walmart. And I think this greeter was probably in her 70s. Now, Maybe she's retired, maybe she has a fortune, maybe she just likes to work at Walmart to, you know, just because she wants to be around people and et cetera. But generally that's not the case. A lot of the times, uh, you know, those workers are, are there because that's their only option. Now, going back to having a financial goal, right? And I'll talk, I'm going to make another video later on with a few more actionable tips because in my, in my little journey here, I've met tons of people and I've gotten tons of lessons, little life lessons that I'm finally starting to apply to my life. But it all comes back to having a financial goal. If you have a financial goal, you will generally tend to make better decisions. You know, whether you're young and immature, you know, 17 years old and, you know, young, dumb and, you know, the rest all of that stuff, you would generally start to make better decisions, even at those young early ages or early years. So have a clear financial goal, right? Do you want to be a 
you know, have a retirement of this much? Do you want to be a multi-billionaire? Do you want to have a business producing this amount of revenue? You know, have a clear financial goal of what you want later on in life. That way you can start taking those, those steps, you know, when your teens, your early, your twenties, your thirties, and, and maybe even potentially retire in your forties or fifties, right? In this day and age, it's absolutely possible for many people to retire in their forties, right? I, I see it all the time. I've, you know, I've, I've, I'll get, I'll maybe talk about that in another video, but I have met people who are in their twenties and who are pretty set. I met people in their 30s who don't necessarily have to work anymore. You know, people in their 40s who could quit today and not have to work again. You know, so it's it's definitely possible in this day and age um, to do that. They're, they're just, you know, different avenues of, of going about doing that. So again, most importantly, have a clear financial goal. If you don't have a goal, you know, what's gonna happen later on in life is you will be in your 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s, and potentially still working. Now, again, nothing wrong with that, but I don't, I mean, but most people don't necessarily want to work and struggle and stress and go to a regular nine to five job when they're in their 50s, 60s, 70s. All right, guys, well, uh, thanks for listening. And like, subscribe, comment, share the video, please. Go ahead and share the video if you want to do that now. Go on Facebook, click that little Facebook button down there. Share it for me. <laughs> All right, good. Thank you. Uh, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.